everybody, welcome. Thanks for checking me out. I'm going to do a review on my Toro Power Clear 518ZR, which is this right here, which is a single stage snowblower. I take it with me every time I go snow plowing. I do a little bit of sidewalk shoveling for a couple customers. This thing works really good, especially when the snow is say under eight inches and fresh powder. It also works good on wet snow, but it does not work good like if there's ice chunks at the end of the driveway. So I'm gonna explain to you guys real fast. Uh, this right here, this is a single stage. It just has a flapper on it right here, and it just throws the snow out through the top. Now right here is my older snow blower that I don't take no more with me because it's just too heavy to pick up. This is a, a two-stage snow blower, so what it does is it, it augers the snow, and then inside here is a paddle, and that's the second stage, and it throws the snow out. So this one, this snow blower right here, a two-stage snow blower, is the way to go if you got like heavy snow down in the driveway with ice chunks on it. So now that I'm getting older, that one's too heavy to pick up. Um, I do got ramps, but ramps take a couple extra minutes to load them up, so we're just going to focus on this, but I want to show you guys the difference between a single stage and a dual stage. I know a Cub Cadet makes a triple stage, a 3X. Um, I've seen them before at the shop getting repaired where I take my equipment to, and a lot of them got bad bearings, so if you got one of those triple 3X uh, Cub Cadets, uh, check your bearing if you're eating the belts up like crazy, because that belt bearing is usually... It goes bad and it causes you, the belts don't break, but they just start smoking and they don't have much uh, torque grip to them anymore. So that's just some secret information right there. Uh, but back to the Toro. This is a little uh, four-cylinder. Back in the day, they used to be uh, two strokes, but now they're four strokes. So you have to mess around with gas, which is nice. Gas and oil mixture, I should say. Because uh, then when you come in, you really don't stink like the two-stroke leaves a smell on you when you use it. Uh, super easy to use. Um... You can get it with electric start. I didn't get the electric start. I chose the cheapest one I could get and the lightest so I could pick this up real easy. Throw it on the back of my truck. It doesn't take long at all. As regards to that, uh, two people can pick up the two stage but you're wrestling with it. Uh, this probably weighs maybe 50, 60 pounds. This probably weighs 200 pounds. So, And with the boards, it makes it a lot easier. But also, like I said, it just it just takes extra time. So I don't, I don't go that route anymore. But this is super easy. Um, a couple other things you want to check for if you're going to buy one of these used. I swear by Toro. Toro products for uh, grass cutting, lawnmower wise, and uh, snow plow and snow blower products I do recommend. Um, if you're going to buy one of these used from somebody, I would say try to get something about for 2015 or newer. Uh, anything before 2015. It really, you know, it was a good product, but it wasn't, you know, superior as to where they are now. Toro products. I made a lot of money with Toro. I do recommend them. Like I said, both grass cutting and snow plowing wise. Um, if you go look at one of these used, uh, I paid about $400 for this. I caught it on clearance. I should say on clearance, but at the, at the beginning of the season sale, so I snagged it real fast. Um, now the prices went up. I don't know. This one might be, <coughs> excuse me, this one might be $500 or a little bit more. But this is a 518. That's 18 inch clearing path. Uh, they do also make them an electric start. That would cost more too. Um, I don't play around with electric starts, so I wouldn't take a cord to a customer's house to use it. Um, so if my equipment doesn't start easily, I just get rid of it and get new equipment for the next year. I don't play the game of pulling it many times. Um, this is real simple to work on, too. Back here, I'll make a video show you guys how to change the oil. It's super simple. It's your spark plug, your muffler. Uh, that's the oil drain, the oil fill. Uh, there's a key right here that you can pull out to kill it, the engine. They won't start without this little key. It's nothing like a little safety device. It works on every single unit that they got by them. And there's your primer and your choke button right here. Um, it's a little bit rusty because in the back of my truck it gets oversprayed with salt. And I, didn't rush, I haven't washed this off at all this year. And it was on the last snow about me, so it got some salt. So uh, that salt ate it up. I haven't even started this this year. Uh, I have... Uh, some fresh gas in it at the end of the season i do recommend uh, draining the gas out of just take it take this uh, gas off i uh, don't use any like ethanol gas e85 i should say of uh, a regular ethanol gas that got 10 percent ethanol in it that's fine but don't use nothing like e85 that won't work good on here with the carburetor um the shoots real easy it spins real quick and the, the lock is pretty good on here for locking which it ain't sticking now but there we go. I haven't used it so long. Now there we go. It's working. But that works real good. So I'll give it a shot. I haven't started at all since uh, 
last year over a year now probably at least a year so hopefully we'll start got the little prime button back here i found like six seven eight nine times put the choke on also i'm going to tell you guys too before i start it um if you get one of these you're going to look at it you're going to buy it from somebody that's used uh, those paddles they give to wear out you sort of rubber paddles so if you're at somebody's house looking at a machine, just start up, make sure on like uh, some concrete where there's no stones, and just start it. And as you start it, it should pull itself forward for you to help you out. And if it doesn't pull forward at all, there's a good chance those paddles, they're, uh, they're worn or they need replacing. So, because this machine does pull itself, you know, nothing crazy, but it does assist you as you're actually doing your snow blowing. So this is a good machine right here. We'll see if it starts. <laughs> helps that it did start because it's uh, sunny and 31 degrees today and I don't need to use it so it started right up on a first pull. I usually when I get to people's houses and you need to use it sometimes it acts up a little bit but it's a great machine. I would highly recommend it if anyone got any questions about it ask me in the comments I'll answer for you. So thanks for checking me out. Hope you guys learned something about single stage versus uh, dual stage. Like I said I'll answer any questions for you. Have a great one. Thank you.